And I think as the day goes on, we're going to find a band of showery rain working its way from west to east, eventually followed by brighter conditions and uh, feeling somewhat fresher as the brighter conditions come along. But for many central and eastern areas, for much of the day, I think it is going to be warm. And if you're really lucky, you could well find the temperature soaring up to 19 degrees before it turns fresher in the evening. But even right first thing, I think we'll find those lower temperatures into those western areas. We'll get rid of those showery bursts of rain uh, during the night. And then for Tuesday, it's going to be a breezy day just about everywhere with a mixture of sunshine and showers. Come Wednesday, we could well find some more general rain moving into the south. A very good evening to you. This is the last time Dermot O'Neill was seen before he was shot dead. Spotlight, winner of the Royal Television Regional Current Affairs Award. You firmly believe that I killed your brother. I do. Spotlight, winner of the Royal Television Regional Documentary Award. Two awards, one year. Spotlight, journalism at its best from BBC Northern Ireland. A roundup of today's local news now on BBC One from Donna Trainer. Welcome to Newsline. Four people, including a teenager, were treated in hospital after being injured in a series of sectarian assaults in North Belfast. The attack happened in Spamount Street in the New Lodge area early this morning. Coleman O'Sullivan reports. This 14-year-old boy was attacked by four men using pickaxe handles. They chased him down the street and beat him to the ground. Then they drove a short distance down the street where they attacked a man and a woman. It's believed the same gang returned to the street about half an hour later to assault a woman as she came home from a night out. She received serious head injuries which required an operation this afternoon. Windows of a number of houses on the street were also broken in the attack. The police are treating the incidents as sectarian. The Sinn Féin Assembly member for the area, Jerry Kelly, says he believes the UDA were responsible. There seems to be some sort of uh, escalation. As you know, there were uh, innumerable attacks uh, began in January. We then had what might be called some sort of uh, a break from it for, uh, for a week or so there. And now here we have it starting up again. A silver car was later discovered a short distance away and was removed, along with a number of other items, for forensic examination. Coleman O'Sullivan, BBC News. Another person has been killed on the roads here this weekend, bringing the death toll to four. Three of them were pedestrians. The latest victim was a 21-year-old from County Fermanagh. Robert Dennis Grimsley of Connolly Park in Lisnarrick was knocked down on the Kiladees Road in the village shortly before midnight. The Portadown Orange men have resumed their protest on the hill at Drum Cree. They marched down to the police lines following a Sunday service and pledged they would continue their campaign until they've completed their 1998 parade by returning along the Garahi Road. For the first time this year, Orange men rally in numbers on the hill at Drum Cree. They were marking 1,000 days of their protest, which was suspended for a time because of the foot and mouth emergency. The Grant Master Robert Salters joined the district officers as once again they marched up to the police lines. Remove your officers and allow this district to return back to Carton Street via the Gavahi Road. The parade's commission's determination in respect of your parade hasn't changed and uh, we're here to make sure that the determination's adhered to, so I can't remove my officers from here. <laughs> I see Mr Curran is back in town. <laughs> Television. Appearing on television on Friday evening, he seems to think that the Orange men are seeking a political solution to the parade situation. Who's he trying to kid? Is he not here at the behest of the Prime Minister? How political can you get? Having broken off contact with talks negotiator Bran Curran, the Orange men are now pinning their hopes on First Minister David Trimble. Mervyn Jess, BBC News, Drum Cree. Sport now and Eddie Irvine will start back in 13th place on the grid at the Brazilian Grand Prix, which starts in half an hour. With a roundup of the rest of the sport, here's Denise Watson. Derry's hurlers are celebrating this afternoon after winning their crucial Division 1B battle with Leash at Dungiven. Derry won by 116 to 112, with John O'Dwyer scoring a goal and four points for them. Derry City have been beaten 2-0 by Bohemians at the Brandywell. Former Newry player Mark Rutherford scoring both goals. Derry's hopes of qualifying for Europe via the Intertoto Cup now well and truly dashed. 
And Newtonards rider Gordon Crockhart has finished second in today's second round of the World 250 Motocross Championships in Holland. Denise Watson, BBC News. And Antrim's Michael Nutt has lost the men's singles final at the World Indoor Bowls County Championships by three sets to one to the Scotsman Darren Burnett. Finally, a quick look at the local weather forecast tonight will be cloudy, mild and breezy with patchy rain at times, a minimum temperature of 7 degrees Celsius. And that was Newsline. We're back here on BBC One at 6.25 in the morning. Radio Ulster and CFAX will page 61. Keep you up to date. Until then, bye-bye for now. This week, polls in Donegal. It's a nice wee spot, this. Facing a real challenge. I have no clue what I'm doing in this for you. Helping out. The rhubarb's knackered. Hold on, I'm stuck down here. <laughs> Shut, stop tugging it. <laughs> He's just wrecked it. Is Sean Rafferty. This is a work of art. Fun in the kitchen with Celebrity Ranking Challenge. Wednesday at 10.35 on BBC One. My, we did a good job. Mm. There are well over 10 million pensioners in this nation. An innovative new documentary. When you reach a certain age, you're no more wanted in society. Challenges our attitude to age. We go out and we enjoy ourselves and we dress up. And gives us an insight into all our futures. You always regard getting old as something that happens to other people. Through the eyes of the old. Ignore us at your peril. Wednesday at 8.35 on BBC One. Oh, the Outdoor Activities Fellowship. With Oaf looking for new members. This way! Whoa, whoa! There should be plenty of takers. The binocular defence. <laughs> oh, Eli's coming. A brand new series of Last of the Summer Wine, tonight at 7.20 on BBC One. Bringing a little sunshine to Sunday evening, the Morgan and Wise show 35 minutes away, here on BBC One.